So from the problems from last week's video came this video. So I decided to test my onboard graphics, the Radeon 3000. They were released in 2009, has a core clock of 350 MHz and up to 512 MB of memory because it's shared with the RAM. And this is my motherboard, you can see the model there. Um, and this it's an IGP uh, graphics chip. Now the first game I tried to decided to test out was Resident Evil 6 Benchmark um, as this is a DirectX 9 um, test and the graphics on the board are DirectX 10 compatible as you can see it was very stuttery and very slow 1 or 2 FPS at the most and um, yeah it just wasn't good uh, I left the test on and I came back to it and it had froze on the dreaded number so yeah, take what you want from that, but yeah, it sort of failed that test. So yeah, you can't you can't play Resident Evil 6 on it. And it was stuck at one FPS as well, so yeah. The only way I could get out of it was by um, logging out of the computer. So uh, so next I did CSGO with the low settings and shadows set to high. On the screen you can see the low averages and high, but it was near enough impossible. I'm not brilliant at CSGO anyway, so this made it even worse. Um, as you can see so uh, yeah it, it's not playable at all um, at these settings um, it's just a stuttering mess and it was just hard to play but I'm, I'm not very good at it anyway so uh, yeah um, it, it, it didn't work basically so yeah you can't really play csgo on this and i think it's mainly to do with the actual onboard memory because the onboard memory of the um igp on the board the graphics chip that we're on about today the radeon 3000 graphics um it's shared with the ram and it's only 512 megabytes maximum so i think it's mainly to do with that that most of the time uh, it doesn't seem to work as most um, games now use a lot more than um, you know one or one or two gig they use more than that most of the time I know Forza um, that uses at least it can use like quite a lot it can use up to at least six gigs of RAM um, just to play it so at the end of the day um, that was that might be the issue with this um, graphics chip uh, the next game I decided to try was everyone's favourite game at the moment, Minecraft. Uh, this is the Java edition. As you can see, um, this was the high settings. I just left it on that as it just defaulted to what I had before at 1080p. And it run it pretty well, to be honest. Uh, if, if you take well as, you know, an average of 12 FPS. But, um, yeah, it, it seemed to... It seemed to uh, run okay for Minecraft. You don't really need a high FPS in most instances on Minecraft unless you're fighting or something like that. But um, just to do a creative world and that is pretty good on high. But obviously you can lower down the settings if you want, so it runs. Um, you probably have to get this running quite well um, with a lot, a lot lower settings than what I've used today anyway. Um, so I decided to do the benchmark Cloud Gate on 3D Mark. As you can see, this was also a stuttering mess, and um, yeah, not great. As you can see, uh, it is really struggling to do that, and it probably is to do with that VRAM issue, that it needs more than 512 megabytes, really. Uh, as you can see on the screen now, these were the results from that, uh, 2 FPS, <laughs> so yeah, not great. So, should you buy a board with these graphics on, the Radeon 3000 graphics? In 2019 no I wouldn't just because of the fact that the slow limited in VRAM and other issues as well if you like this video remember to leave a like subscribe would really help and uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video and thank you for your support lately as well see you guys all in the next one